This is Geely's new $5,000 electric car. Now this is not a clickbait video. It legitimately does cost $5,000. How good is it for 5,000 US dollars? Is it better than an electric bike, which oh, to be honest, often electric bikes cost far more than this does if you wanna buy a good one? Well, I guess it depends on if you like riding electric bikes or not. But either way, I mean, it's just more for context, right? To think you can buy an EV for 5,000 US dollars, you'd think this is great value, right? Amazing value. But if you think about it, the price of these will only come down based on these new batteries from Cadel, sodium batteries. I mean, we all thought sodium batteries wouldn't succeed, but at 175 watt hours per kilogram, the energy density is very high. So in the future, EVs like this that cost $5,000, they might come down in price to $4,000. I mean, it's wild. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. What are we looking at here? This Geely EV, it looks, well, cute, I guess you could say. It's um, very small, but I think it's not bad. Top speed is 100 kilometers per hour, so you could drive it on a freeway. I don't see anything wrong with going 100. However, it's probably not intended for freeways. It's more intended as a city car, and as a second car, it'd be awesome. You could park this thing nearly anywhere. As you can see, it's a very boxy design, it's small, but I think interior space is better than people would expect because of the fact that it's shaped kind of like a box. So what do we know about it? What are you getting for your 5,000 US dollars? It's 3.1 meters long. So that's 122 inches long. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not big, but you know, good things come in small packages. Curb weight is 815 kilograms, and that's cool, right? I think driving an EV that weighs 815 kilograms could be kind of fun. Total gross weight is 1,125 kilograms. So that means you could store a total of 310 kilograms in it. That includes passengers. So 310 kilograms, it's not, not bad actually. In China, people are usually less heavy than they are in Australia and the United States. So in China, this would work really well. Even in Indonesia, that's true as well, where this vehicle will likely be sold. Built with a unibody construction, in other words, Giga casting, how cool is that, right? It features front and rear overhangs of 553 millimeters and 532 millimeters respectively as per car news China. But ultimately getting back to the Giga casting, I mean, 815 kilograms, it's very lightweight. Cars just seem to get heavier and heavier with each successive generation and bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know why we need such big cars. I mean, you know, if you've got a family and you've got surfboards and bikes and other things, I get it. Most families have two big cars, and it's really not that necessary. Well, that's what I think anyway. Now, apparently, it uses pretty small tires. They're 155 millimeters wide, but that does enormously you know, improve efficiency. You're gonna get more range out of this car than you, a lot more range than you would out of a, a traditional electric SUV, for example. What about safety? Apparently, it's got anti-lock brakes and airbags. Not sure how many, though, yet. Um, yeah. But for your $5,000, I wouldn't expect too many airbags, probably two most likely. Motor, it's got a single electric motor. Power is 30 kilowatt, that's 40 horsepower. It doesn't sell that much, does it? But um, anyway, it's enough to reach 100 kilometers an hour. And I guess weighing this weight, being 800 kilograms, you, you're gonna find it probably, it probably doesn't feel that slow. So Geely is actually the fastest growing car company in the world this year, large company in the world this year. And obviously, Xpeng are growing faster, but um, in terms of big car companies, Geely's growing at the fastest pace. And most of that comes down to the fact that Geely's EV sales this year are up by more than 200%. So they're focusing more on electric cars, especially more affordable ones, like the Panda Mini, which I did a video on recently, and also the Xingyuan, which is actually the best-selling EV in China this year so far, I believe. Amazing results for Geely there. So this will help Geely to continue increasing its EV sales, especially considering the price. What about range though? What are you gonna get in terms of range for your 5,000 US dollars? Well, estimates expect around 200 kilometers of range. I mean, for $5,000, I think, you know, that's a great second car, enough range for just driving around the city, doing those kinds of trips. 
And honestly, I think this car would be perfect. And I know people say, you know what, you'd get run over by a Ford F-150. Well, why do Ford F-150s not run over all these people on bicycles? Yes, people on bicycles get involved in crashes, but it's not that common. And the truth is, it's much easier to see a 3.1 meter car, probably colored brightly, which is what most people order, than a, a bicycle, right? So people that go on about the safety of these cars, I don't really understand what they're talking about. If it can go 100 kilometers an hour, has ABS, has airbags, and you're not sitting on a motorbike or on a bicycle, then it's gonna be much safer on the roads than many alternatives. I think it's a really good idea for cities. I hope it takes off. I've been hoping for years cars like this would take off in cities and be sold outside of China. They are in some places, some, some countries, but not many, not many unfortunately yet. So what do you guys think? Would you can do you agree with me? I'm sure a lot of you don't. Let us know in the comments. But guys, what do you think of this EV? Do you think it's worth five thousand US dollars? Would you consider buying one as a second car, not a first car, but as a second car? What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching, guys. Geely, they own so many car brands. I think they're about to buy another car brand, an Italian famous brand as well. Very good chance that Geely buy Maserati, but. They also own Volvo, they own Lincoln Co, they own Zika, Polestar, the list goes on and on. They've also got another car company you've probably never, ever heard before called Levan. And Levan sell little micro EVs. This one here is going to cost between four to five thousand US dollars. And it's mini, but it's still safer than a bicycle. I think it's actually. Pretty damn awesome. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Hey guys, I've got uh, a, an EcoFlow Delta II right here and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description, and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. This is Geely's new, well, it's response to the Wuling, really the Wuling Hongwan Mini, their little electric car, which is one of the best-selling EVs in the world, and also the response to the BYD Seagull. Yeah, it's smaller than a BYD Seagull, but it's about half the price. So this thing could do extremely well. How long is it? Well, very, very not long. It's short. It's 3.1 meters long, actually. So yeah, it's not big, but apparently it can fit four people. I don't know how you go getting four people in this car, but you could try. Peak power is 40 horsepower. But honestly, considering the fact this is only going to weigh about 850 kilograms, I think 40 horsepower would be enough.